So you have a checkpoint. So one way would be to make entirely custom checkpoints that do you do whatever you want it to do. Um, so um, so we'll put this on a chip like that. Okay, and we'll we'll mark this area like that, so we know there's a checkpoint over there. And we will have currently active. Let's make this glow a little bit. So let's just make sure that's working with a puppet. So normally when you die, you put back to the beginning. If that's active and you die, then you come back. Um, so we might be able to use activate me. If this doesn't work, then uh, we may have to make a custom checkpointing system, but it shouldn't be that difficult to be honest. Okay, so do that. Yeah, so the switch turns on that. So let's see if this hack works. Um, Let's see if we just plug something into respawn. See if that just that'll probably bug it out, but let's find out what happens. <laughs> yeah, okay, that let's try making it because it's receiving a one from the switch. When it receives a one from is dead, it's not saying, oh, there's a new respawn command. Um, uh, not in the time left, I'm afraid. We can't, uh, I've only got, I haven't got the next next uh, week to uh, demonstrate that, uh, Dippy, I'm afraid. <laughs> um Yeah, cool. Uh, uh, happy to help, Dippy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying to do this full time, helping people in uh, in whatever ways I can. Um, based on donations that pe people give me, uh, if they feel like it. But it's uh, yeah, it's enjoyable to help people. So now it should flicker that on. See if that changes anything. Well, that allows it to respawn. Um, okay. What if we like? What if? Yes, yeah, so let's have that again. I'm going to try and get it to time nicely. So we'll leave that off. Uh, actually, we could put that on and just drag it in here. So um, this will set it to be active. And then a little while later, it will try and respawn the character. Whoa! Oh, well, that did something. Um, let's have that false possession. Are you working on um, the chamber? I noticed the uh, that video on Reddit. It looked pretty cool. 
Yeah, so that works. Um, let's just... Um, let's just copy over here. Okay, and we'll make that a different colour. Uh, and see if it still allows us to... Whoa, yeah. Um, so you'd probably want to like hide it with a a wipe or something. So I'll just put that on, just to demonstrate. So grab a wipe gadget from here, and you'd probably have all this happen a lot quicker, but just for demonstration purposes. So if we have it be no, that's a grade. Wiper gadget, there you go. Have no timing. Yeah, so then if you make those shorter, uh, and we should have a keyframe to turn the controls off. Oh, we need to add a switch so we can turn that on with the keyframe. Yeah. Uh, we'll call that being on, switch disables the controls so that during this period of time we can't do anything yet. So let's see if that works. Cool. So we can only actually see anything once it's respawned. There's a bit of weirdness there, but um, yeah. So that's that's that part working. Now we need to like store which um, thing we are in. So we'll have like a central chip for all this stuff and we'll put that on there um, and have a variable um, just call it CP and we'll set that so when uh, so we won't have that just activate it well actually but I think we'll use that for something else so this one will set it to one so this will be checkpoint one um, when it gets um, uh, yeah, currently active. So we'll power that, and that will set the variable to one, the variable CP to one. Um, this will like uh, prompt it to check what the value is. So it gets the value and spits it out from here. So we want to see if that. You could do this in a number of different ways, but this is the easiest way for testing for a minute. Um, uh, equals and set that to one. So if the variable is one, then we want to activate that and we'll power that. Um, okay, so. Okay. And we'll probably have to. Oh, did the. Did that not trigger? Oh. Hmm, where's the zone?
Oh, is it because it's got an activate me thing? So if we un unplug that. Oh, interesting. So if it has something that will set the activate me, then we need to have our own trigger zone to do that as well. Don't know if that's a bug or not. Um, I'll just record that video clip to remind me to investigate if that's a bug. So detected, plug that in up there as well, and put it down there like that. Okay, let's see if that works. So that goes, that's fine like that. Um, we'll just turn this one off entirely for now. And we'll test to see if this variable setup works, um, which will actually have to be persist, persistent dream. Uh, and we'll have to put it in a dream to test it. So start fresh dream, put that in there, okay, auto update, and we'll just save that locally and, the, and variables still work locally. So now we'll play it, let's set that, it respawns okay. Now if we go out, it's got stuff stored, so let's play. Yay! Uh, so that seems like it's working. Um. <laughs> so, um, yeah, now we'll... Oh, we've got that hidden one over there. We'll just plonk this there in its place. Make that green. Make it a different number. So probably what you want... So this is checking against a number, so that will be 2. And you want that same number, that number, to be set when it's uh, in the variable. So we'll grab that and plug it into there. So it's always the same. So we only have to change it in one place. Um, another way of doing it would be to have a value slider, so it's really easy to change. But uh, again, for testing, this will be fine. Um, and that into there. Okay, so that's number one, that's number two. Um, let's see. Uh, but when you're testing stuff that needs a dream to work, you have to go and actually edit the dream to prompt it to find out if there's an update, and then it'll auto-update, and then you go out and save it. <coughs> and let's reset it, and then play it. So it's a little, like, there's clearly a double imp thing going on but um, I think most people won't be too worried about it yeah so that's respawning over there now let's go out and play it again oh so that's a 2 oh that isn't being triggered because we haven't hooked up that wire um, Instead of it being a wire, we don't in an actual thing. We probably don't want it trailing around the place. So we will use a trick. We'll use a tag. Uh, so this is set CP. And just delete that. So when it gets to this point, it will be powered for that di t that amount of time. And then in here, we can just use a trigger zone for the whole scene. And we want to detect a tag called set CP. And use that to power this whole thing. Um, so grab that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
yeah so now it's spawning at the right place now we'll go to the red one and try again from the dream oh we have to update it again So spawning at the red one, go to the green one, and it's working fine. Then we actually I'll just yeah red one, one, and then play. Yeah, nice. It works.